What's up guys, today my friends, we're going through the 7 most tryhard emotes in Fortnite. Now, these are the emotes that, you know, you get in game, you land tilted towers, you just get outbuilt, you get out edited, you get one pumped in the face, and then that absolute god player that killed you uses a specific emote on your man, you know, the tryhard that kills you, use that emote, and you, you just get mad. And basically, those are the emotes that we're talking about. We're talking about those tryhard emotes. And well, after you get killed by a tryhard, these are the emotes that you get danced on. And I'm not, I'm not saying, you know, there's a lot of tryhards out there that don't use emotes at all. I know a lot of streamers, though, that do use emotes after they kill people just for the memes and stuff. And I know a lot of tryhard players do do that. And yeah, guys, the video is going to be absolutely cool. And if you guys do enjoy, make sure you smash the like button as well, subscribe to the channel, and also chuck on that notification bell to so take the date with all of my videos coming in the future. The channel, guys. If you haven't already as well, make sure to use supporter creator code COSMOSFTW inside of the item shop, guys. I really would appreciate it if you could do that. But with, and comment below some other tryhard emotes that I didn't put on this list that you guys think are that a tryhard or, you know, that you always get danced on by in the comment section below. But without waiting longer, let's go ahead and begin this video right now in the number 7 spot. Alright, first up at number 7 spot, I think this had to come on the list somewhere. And I've got it at the end as this is going to be the default dance. Now, lads, this default dance, man, it is really just a meme at this point. And I know there's a lot of tryhard players out there that kill someone and they're just like, you know what? Let's just meme this out and pop on the default dance. And yeah, I know there's a lot of players that do that. Or even default players that, you know, fake defaults or pretending they're defaults. Um, use the default dance when they kill you. It's, it's hilarious when this does happen, um, you know, when you do it to someone, but when this is happening to you after you get killed by a tryhard and they use this emote on you, it is the most infuriating thing you can possibly imagine inside of the game. So, guys, I think the default dance had to come on the list somewhere, as it is definitely a tryhard dance, as everyone's got this, and most fake defaults use this just to meme on other players. And, yeah, that's there in our number seven spot. Next up on the list, I actually want to talk about two specific emotes here. I found that these aren't as tryhard as they originally were. However, I think these are some really, really tryhard emotes, which I actually see, I'll actually see a lot of streamers use these. And when I get killed by like, you know, a guy in streamer mode, an anonymous player, I swear they always use one of these emotes on me. And this is the Kiss Kiss and the True Love emote. These, both of these emotes are the Valentine's Day emotes. They were pretty rare, um, but they'd obviously re-release again this Valentine's Day, but I still think they are some really, really try-hard emotes, man, because, you know, I don't know what it is. It just seems that whenever I get, you know, killed, there's uh, so many players that use this emote on me. It's just crazy, and um, both of them, I think, are as try-hard as each other. The true Love emote is only 200 V-Bucks, so there's probably a lot more players that do have that, and the Kiss Kiss is 500 V-Bucks, and I think both of these, man, definitely... Two very, very tryhard emotes. And something that, you know, you just get mad whenever you get, you know, danced on with these emotes by a tryhard player. Now, another five spot has to be one of the most annoying emotes to be danced on inside of the game. This is the pure salt emote. Now, I see so many streamers use this, man. And whenever I get danced on by this, I just get so, so mad. The pure salt, and, you know, it's, it's an accurate representation of me when I get killed in a Fortnite game. I get, I get a little bit salty sometimes, and, bro, this just makes it a hundred times worse. But, lads, I think this is definitely one of the most tryhard emotes inside of the game. It is a 500 V-Buck emote. Once again, um, there's only a couple of, like, rare emotes on this list. Most of them just are tryhard for no specific reason. I don't know why. Um, it just seems that it's just, a, I guess, a meme to use these emotes, and a lot of tryhards use these. And I think Pure Salt is definitely one of those tryhard emotes. I also just want to quickly say as well, guys, a lot of these emotes on the list are actually coming from your guys' comments. So in one of my previous videos, I actually asked, you know, what are some tryhard emotes that you guys always get danced on and stuff? And yeah, a lot of these spots on the list are actually influenced by your guys' opinions and stuff. And yeah, dude, a lot of you guys in the comment section said that the Pure Salt emote is one of the most tryhard emotes inside of the game. And, you know, from my personal experience as well, I've, I've found a lot of tryhards using this emote. But yeah, it's coming there in our number five spot. Now, next up is actually the Waterworks. Now, this emote, man, I don't know what it is about it. I feel like there's so many players that have this and... It's, it's a really, really funny emote to use. It's only 200 V-Marks, of course, the Waterworks, man. 
Um, it's a really cool emote. I don't have this myself, but I know a lot of a lot of people that do have this, and it's actually kind of starting to become rare. It's not like what I would classify as a rare emote, but it is starting to become rare. The last time we saw it was December 13th, which was over 73 days ago since we last saw this emote in the game. So you know, it's coming. I guess it's coming a little bit rare. Usually, emotes release in the item shop every at least maybe 30, like maybe 30 to 50 days. However, this one's been not in the item shop for 73 days. I'm guessing we might go ahead and see it soon, but. I think this is definitely a tryhard emote. I get danced on this a lot. Dude, I reckon I get danced on at least like 50% of the time I get killed, I would have to say. And yeah, I think it's even worse in squads, but in solos, it's also pretty bad. And at least 50% of the time, I get danced on after I just get destroyed by some, you know, absolute beast at the game. But yeah, guys, that is there in our number four spot with the Waterworks emote, of course, a really cheap emote. And I feel a lot of tryhards have this and use this in game. All right, guys, so in our number three spot right here, this is something that I guess a lot of you guys might think this is kind of controversial. A lot of you guys might be like, man, this is this is bad players use this emote. It's not a try-hard emote at all. However, I'm going to talk about you guys why I think this is a try-hard emote later on. But the yeah, number three spot right here is actually the Take the L emote. And yes, the Take the L emote, of course, is a part of the Season 3 Battle Pass. One of the most well-known, I guess, meme emotes inside of the game, man. Something that whenever, whenever someone uses this, it's just an absolute meme. When someone uses this on you after they kill you, you're just like, oh my god, man, I just wanna, I just wanna delete this game right now and never play it again. But whenever you use it on someone else after killing them, it is just the funniest thing. It is amazing. But a lot of you guys might be like, man, dude, a lot of bots use this emote as well. However, I think, you know, bad players can also be tryhard. For example, me. When I play the game, I'm usually trying to get gameplay. I'm trying so hard to get good gameplay for you guys. However, you know, sometimes I just, I'm really bad player. I get destroyed. I get like two kills. I'm literally trying my hardest to get the best builds, the best edits as I possibly can. However, you know, I still end up only getting one kill in the game. But dude, sometimes when I kill people, um, I just use the take the L anyway. And because it just, it just fulfills my ego, I guess. It makes me feel a lot better about myself, even though um, I'm a really, really bad player. But dude, the take the L, I think it is definitely a try hardy mode. Um, you know, you have those really good streamers, tryhards that are really, really good at the game. And then you have the really bad tryhards like me that use this as well. And yeah, that's why I believe, you know, it is one of the most tryhard emotes inside of the game. And it comes there at our number three spot. Now, the number two spot on this list is a pretty rare emote, probably the rarest on the list. However, you know, I think that kind of is one of the main reasons why it's tryhard as only players that have been playing the game for a very long time do have this. This is, of course, as you guys may know, is the Floss. Now, the Floss is one of the most popular emotes in Fortnite. And man, this emote right here is probably, I'm thinking that is the rarest emote in the game. Of course, since Season 2, I don't think there's any other emote that we haven't seen since Season 2. Um, but man, this emote right here, bro, it's something that when you get danced on by this, you just know the person to try hard. You know they've been playing since season two, and you know they unlocked this, um, you know, emote, which was, it was pretty high in the battle pass as well. So you did have to play a lot during season two to unlock this. And yeah, it's, you just know it's a try hard whenever you get danced on by a floss. It's an absolute giveaway. And man, it is definitely one of those try hard um, emotes inside the game. I got it in our number two spot as I think the number one spot is is really one of the most tryhards inside of the game. Now, our number one spot on the list is something that I got danced on by so much that I'm like, you know what, screw it, and I bought this myself. I think this is probably the most tryhard emote inside of the game. I know a lot of streamers that use this, and yeah, this is the laugh it up emote. Now, this emote right here, guys, is something that I use myself when I'm tryhard inside of a game, you know, and um, I kill a guy on 1 HP, I get third partied, and I kill the guy that third party me. I'm just like, you know what, man, dude, come in, you come in for the third party. I'm on 1 HP, but I still kill you. I'll laugh it up on him. It's a good feeling when you're, when you're using it after killing someone, but bro, it is the worst feeling in the game when someone uses a laugh it up emote on you after they kill you. It's just literally the noise that it gives out is just, it hurts my brain. Like, it actually hurts my brain. It is just an absolutely hilarious emote. I remember the first time I actually heard this emote in game, I just cracked up laughing because I, I was expecting it to be like a, an actual laugh, but it just sounds like a donkey, this emote. Like, it literally sounds like a donkey. It is just absolutely hilarious. Maybe that's why it's called the Laugh It Up because it makes everyone laugh it up whenever they just hear it, dude. And yeah, I think this is my number one spot as the most try-hard emote inside of Fortnite. But ladies and gentlemen, 
that is going to go ahead and end off my video right there. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you smash the like button as well, subscribe to the channel, and also chuck on that notification bell to stay up to date with all of my videos coming in the future of the channel. And of course, lads, you know, if you have any other emotes that you think I did miss on this list, feel free to drop some comments in the comment section below. Once again, dudes, if I did miss a lot of emotes and, you know, I, I read the comments, I'm like, oh man, I missed that, oh, I missed that. I might go ahead and do a part two. So if you guys, you know, uh, want to put any add other things in this video that you think should have been added in, comment section below. And also lastly, before we end the video, make sure you guys do support a creator code COSMOSFTW in the item shop and tweet at me over on Twitter a picture of you using my code or whatever or buying a skin with my code. And I'll go ahead and retweet you guys' tweet and stuff. So my Twitter is at underscore COSMOSYT or it's linked somewhere in the description where you guys can go ahead and check that out. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming out to today's video. I really do appreciate it. Um, yeah, your guys' support is absolutely amazing. Let's go ahead and end off this video right now. Peace.